the reason I can do a lot of things that I do is because I am financially independent, but not just that, I am also debt free. Welcome to Flying Dirty. I'm Raul, private pilot and entrepreneur based out of Centennial, Colorado. Come on board with me, my family and friends on our flight adventures across the nation. Can I get a number one, please? Uh, my little medium or not. Let's make it medium. Make it to go, please. All right, guys, so here we are. You know, I had to pick up that delicious burrito from Habanero's Mexican Grill. I can't do a flight without it. Make sure you try chorizo. Oh, yeah. I get the owner's favorite, so... Thank you guys for uh, all of you who have uh, come to the restaurant and, uh, and got your uh, $100 burrito. Some of the guys fly jets, so maybe for them it'll be a $1,000 burrito. But uh, the burritos are really good. My specialty is the number one. That's the one I have now. That's the one I love. So make sure when you go out there, get the number one. The owner's favorite is what I call it. The owner's favorite. Yeah. here. So, so this is it, guys. I'm going to eat this burrito, and then we're going to talk about our topics. All right, uh, welcome to Flying Dirty. Here with my son, Javier. And uh, today we're cruising to Rock Falls, Illinois. And the reason why is because we have a, uh, an event that we were invited to. And I felt privileged when I got an email from the ACCA inviting me as a content creator to fly to this destination. So that's where we're going. So today we're going to be talking about a lot of great topics. And the first topic is going to be, how did I become an entrepreneur? A lot of people ask me that question, like what I do for a living and how did I become an entrepreneur? What is it that you're doing different that we could be doing so that we can become entrepreneurs like yourself? And I love answering questions like that. So how did I become an entrepreneur? By hustling so hard until all the haters asked if I was hiring. That's how I did it. But really, it takes a lot of hustle and a lot of hard work and dedication. You may not understand why entrepreneurs dedicate so much time to what they do. In fact, when you see something like that, you may be so afraid of the things they do that you may, act, you may tell yourself, Self, I don't know if I really want to be an entrepreneur because those those guys, they work a lot. And here's the thing, guys. What you need to understand is that entrepreneurs, they actually work hard because they're doing what they love. See, that's the difference. The difference between an entrepreneur is that the entrepreneur is the creator of his own destiny. So an entrepreneur more than likely is doing the things that the entrepreneur is passionate about. For me, my passion is just business. I love business. I love interacting with people. You know, so marketing is also another thing that I that I really like. Uh, I love I love marketing. I love creating products to market. Like for example, I printed out a banner to market my channel at the event. And it's things like that that I really enjoy doing. So I invested a lot in a lot of machines so that I can do my own marketing. That's another thing I really enjoy doing. I, I just love doing things of that nature. So you see, I'm surrounded by the things that I want to do, the things that motivate me, the things that keep me going. If you don't hustle and if you wait for things to come, they'll never come. So that's mainly how I became an entrepreneur, is by wanting to do my own things, by wanting to be surrounded by the things that I'm passionate about. 
I just wanted to be the author of my own life, my, the author of my own creation. I'm inspired. And the thing that you're going to get, let's change the timer here. So we're going to change fuel tanks. That's my cue. I got my my timer is set for 30 minutes so that I can switch fuel in, uh, in 30 minute intervals. So, so there you have it. You see, when when people are doing the things they're passionate about, it's not really work. They they don't work. It's like they're always enjoying what they're doing. So that's why they can put so much time. So now you understand that when you see an entrepreneur working so hard, working diligently, and putting so many hours into what they're doing, is because they're doing their passion. They're doing what they love. They do, they're doing what they enjoy doing. And that's why they just can keep going and never, never really get tired. My belief is that we're brought into this world to express our own uniqueness. An entity in a business is a reflection of yourself. And there's no better way to express yourself than providing customers and other people with products that you create or with the things that you're passionate about. You're sharing that passion with other people. You may ask yourself, wow, entrepreneurs work a lot. Well, you know what, I was a manager and I was salary, and when you're salary, there's no 40-hour cap. When you're salary, they really take advantage of you. You know, it just seems like they wanted you to work and be available on the weekends. Every time I went camping and every time I wanted to spend time with my family, I had to answer my phone because if you didn't, that was a bad thing. You were frowned upon if you didn't answer your phone or your text or your email. So you were basically connected to your job like almost 24-7. So, so there you have it. You know, life is, life is about what you make it. That's what I'm trying to teach these little young ones here is do what you like doing. Do your passion. Whatever you enjoy doing, you do it. So, uh, so I hope that helps answer that question. You take YouTube, for example, and I make all my music on YouTube. So that's one passion that I enjoy. And then here it is, I created a channel based on another passion of mine, which is flying. I love flying. I've, I've been flying since uh, 1998. And it's a passion of mine. I, I really enjoy it. So again, this is my job. Okay, this is my entrepreneurship is flying from point A to point B. This is my office view. Okay, here's my office. Or I could be working at that old job that I used to have, frustrated and stressed out. Don't get me wrong. I learned a lot from that job, and I appreciate that last job. It, it was, uh, it, it kept me challenged. It kept me going. And I think uh, I would not be here had it not been for the experiences that I learned at my previous job. Not only that, also from school. A lot of people will critique school and education. And to a certain extent, I understand and I get it. But you do have to be educated and disciplined when it comes to the rules of finance. Because we've been taught to spend money. And money, you don't spend. You need to teach yourself how not to spend money. See, you've been taught the wrong way. When you make money, there's two things you can do with money. You save money and you invest money. Saving money is the first step to your discipline and to your foundation of of security because you want to save enough to be secure maybe six months to a year worth of payments so that in case something happens you have emergency funds at your disposal see there's a difference between an investment and cash cash is liquid and an investment is not liquid an investment is an asset but you have to flip it into a liquid before you can really use it the reason I can do a lot of things that I do is because I am financially independent, but not just that, I am also debt free. Cash flow is money coming in, not money going out. Liability, debt, is money going out. So anyway, I hope that really helps you. And we'll continue our flight. Uh, don't forget to go on the website because what I'm going to do is uh, a lot of these shirts, like the one we have on, and even this hat, I do it on my printing shop. And the thing is that uh, 
we're going to be selling these shirts on the website. If you come up with ideas that I could use to print on shirts and hats, hoodies, or whatever it is that I can custom, custom make, then you know what, guys? If I pick you and select you, you're going to get your free product. You're going to either get, if I decide to put it on a hat, you're going to get the free hat. And if I decide to put it on a shirt, you will get a free shirt. Okay? So help me help you. Help me help you. I'm Santa Claus, right? He was like, help me help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. Did Santa Claus say that? Uh, no, it was like that weird little elf guy. The elf guy, oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, from Santa Claus too. But you know where I get that from? It's from Jerry Maguire. Help me help you. Help me help you. So maybe Santa Claus got it from him as well. I don't know. But again, guys, help me because I want to make this channel grow a lot. And I want to help and inspire more people that I could possibly imagine. I mean, right now I'm touching lives. I, you know, you guys are telling me and you guys are sharing those comments with me that I'm, that I'm, that I'm inspiring you. But I want to inspire a lot of people. Okay? That's what this channel is about. So help me come up with some great ideas so that I could put it on shirts and sell these shirts. Okay, to help you get motivated and inspired. So let's do that, guys. Let's make it happen. So, any, so anyway, guys, uh, it's getting hot, and I think the cameras are getting hot as well. So let's give the cameras a break, and then we'll finish off this episode, guys. I love you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for your support. You guys really, really inspire me. You guys, you guys motivate me into doing my passions. I am very glad and privileged to be going to this ACCA event. Uh, thank you guys for inviting me. I can't wait to go and check out this event and and have this experience and have this remarkable experience with them. And oh, and hopefully with that, I get to meet a lot of the YouTubers that help inspire me as well at this event. So, so take care, stay safe, and have a great day, my friends. Peace.